Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the Friday night special. We got uh, Dave, aka Grumpy, Uncle Al, and Will up here. And we're going to be talking about the uh, CCC uh, bug, aka the Red Dragon. It's and, and not what a it's a bug it, no more. <laughs> it's, it's a big bug now in uh, July here. And, you know, so a lot of people I've heard on the news say, oh, the second wave is here. And so we're going to also discuss, is this really a second wave? What constitutes a second wave? When does the second wave really start? Or is this just a continuing uh, surgence, resurgence, whatever you want to call it? So um, basically, yeah, so yeah, you can call it the Red Dragon in July. Do not use um, uh, CC. It's proper name. Yeah, you don't use the pro the uh, the C O V blah 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 or the C uh, C O R. So um, we'll just call it the Red Dragon. And uh, one thing I'd like to point out, though, and so hopefully everyone will get this. This is going to be kind of funny, but it is really serious about the way it is. So this was the Red Dragon in the first six months of the year. This Everybody is the Red Dragon. This is the red dragon now. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like so, a game I used to play. Yeah. So, yeah, the difference. The way the numbers were in the first six months, the way the numbers are now. All right. So, pull it over here. Get everyone up here. And let me go ahead and drop that out so I can get the other stuff up here for you the it's okay. really it's you know if you guys think back to what dave and i were talking about back in january and february on how it was going to go like uh i was making those top uh gun uh comments we're going ballistic <laughs> yeah well here are the numbers for as those of, just joining us good evening Right, good evening. All right, listen. Before we jump into it, let's do a uh, account here. Say hi to everybody. Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. All right. So we have Cecilia Jansen in here. Courtney of Wide Family Farm. Michael Fifty Eight. Uh, Big Dreams Homestead. Cr Creative Redundancy from North of the Border. Um, Uncle Al. Mary Beth Smith. Uh, String, uh, Teresa and Lee from Stringfield Ridge Farm. Right down. Living a, lo a Rogue Life. A Big Dreams Homestead. Mama Z's Te Texas Kitchen. Uh, Tim Fergal from up here in Idaho. Go down here. Lisa Lee. Living a Rogue Life. We will get to that here shortly. Michelle P. And all right, that's all the comments we have there so far. So hi guys, thank you for coming in. And don't forget um, to smash that thumb. Yeah. Now, are... first off, first off, important thing: we are not trying to spread fear. We want to spread information so you can make intelligent choices, so you have knowledge without fear. All right. Fear is its own biggest enemy. Yeah. Yeah. So and if you fear if pull... you fear the facts, the facts are not the issue. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to pull up a uh, my spreadsheet here for you guys, to, and hopefully you'll be able to read it all. And let me bring you it do. up here. Wear your mask. Yeah, wear your mask. Okay. So we drop back uh, into May first. May first had a. Uh, one on May 1st, the increase was 36,282. And that was the highest until June 20th. So let me go over here to June. Uh, so from this one here, go down here to June 20th. And June 20th, we had 40,000. And then went down for a couple days. And then on the June 20 since June 25th it has not gone below 40,000 every day new cases. And what happened several weeks before that 
we had a bunch of the protesters and rioters out there running around without their masks on. In mass- in the streets. Yeah, and you know, it, you know, crowded together, no social distancing, no public distancing, Even no distancing that. of any kind. Right. All right. Okay. And so a couple weeks later, here we're getting hammered. And we're getting hammered. All right. So then on uh, July 1st, we had 52,370. And we had th- uh, uh, three days high, <laughs> two days dropped a little bit, back up again. And then the last three days. So uh, on Wednesday, we'll get to those two questions here in a minute. 61,848. Then yesterday, it dropped a little, 61,067. Right now, and this number is actually low. It's already gone up again. 71,787 today. And we still have another hour of reporting where numbers will roll in for another hour. uh, So we'll probably hit about 73 by the end of the the time here. Okay. I'm going to answer two quick questions. Mm -hmm. First, if the numbers being provided are honest, well, you know what? We don't take the numbers provided by our government or anybody associated with our government. We get our numbers from independent people that are verified by more than just one we're talking on the average of seven or more resources in order to get accurate numbers. Yeah. Two big dreams. Well, yes, there team. are new cases being tested and people are a lot more people are being tested. Caveat with that is some of the tests they're using are as about effective as a male goat feeding baby goats. If you get my draft. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. It's not oh. effective. Right. Yeah. What Gabe says, I have to also comment. If you have a flu shot and tried to get tested, what's going to happen to the test? It'll show a fake positive. If you yeah. have a flu shot within three weeks of the test, it will show a fake positive. I keep telling people this. I keep tell them they don't have the red dragon. You got a flu shot. The, the test is showing the reaction to that shot. And yeah, the look- antibodies from the shot. Right, and they look at me like, huh? I'm getting tired. Yeah. yeah. So, um, just, on the couch. just for last, and give me a second here. I'm updating a, a number here right now. Okay, why and, you update that number? Yeah. Um, Courtney, um, my neighbor. Who okay, just had didn't a baby. need, didn't need um, updating. It was good. Okay, my neighbor who just had who just had a baby. Um, her son had it. He's tested for antibodies. She, being pregnant, was also tested, not having it. So not everybody that gets tested is counted as having it. Okay, the little lady that lives, well, her daughter lives over here. She lives in another place. She is almost 80 years old, has had to be tested. She doesn't have it, has no antibodies. Therefore, she's not counted as having had it either. Yeah. So. Some of the people that are saying that everybody that gets tested is claimed to have it. No, that's not true. At least no. not where I'm at anyway. And therefore, yeah, so me- I tend to agree with the numbers in my area of Ohio that say, hey, it's kind of iffy as how bad it is. But you probably should wear a mask to protect yourself and others because you don't know if you have it. You might have it. And I don't. So wear a mask. I might have it and you don't. So I'm going to wear a mask. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, and I'll save my rent for something else. <laughs> no problem, Dave. Dave's right yeah. above. All oh. right. So I'm, pu- I'm putting ahead. into the side chat here a link. Okay. There it goes. And that is to, uh, this is one of the sources I get it from Roy Labs and their numbers and stuff. So that's where I get uh, one source. I get the numbers for them. And I update, this updates all during the day. And so I pulled most of my numbers off of here. Then I cross-check it at night with um, this one here, the wor- Worldometer. And let me put that link down there so you guys can double-check this. There we go. These numbers here at the end of the day are within two or three numbers of what Roy Lab has. So, you know, that's close. That's very close. And, and what I go. like about this is this goes through and it gives me each state and their current end of the day um, 
number of cases and in the end of the day deaths and then it has other information over here i really don't use but it's all always, always nice to look at but it lists the states in order of the, the highest number of cases so new york's first california second texas florida new jersey illinois uh yeah, arizona blah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. how are you yeah so <laughs> So it goes on down, and it also includes down here at the bottom, Guam, Northern Marianas, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, uh, Veteran Affairs, U.S. Military. So, yeah, so this is another source that I use to get the numbers from as well. And then, of course, there's also the other map, which I showed earlier on, um, on Will's uh, live stream today. That is the Johns Hopkins map uh, as well, which... <laughs> has always been behind these two in reporting numbers. Yeah, but they they usually update it uh, four or five times a day. Yeah, right. but even, even then, then by at the end of the day, it's usually like two or 300 behind, and it's mm -hmm. not until the next morning that it catches up. Yep, because they go to bed at 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. Yep. Well, they don't go to bed. They just turn yeah. the computers off. So those yeah. those are the uh, uh, those are some sources. Now, interesting. Here's some interesting news articles I got. Gil, you're going Roboto. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let me go ahead and kill that other one. All right. While well, Gil's doing that, Michelle, if you check any of these lists, New York's at the top. Yeah. Yep. Our cabin. You should wear a mask no matter what. Not for six yeah. months, but until we get an all clear somewhere down the road. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, uh, Michelle, uh, gonna... I went and I went and closed it because it was causing a drain on my computer. But if you click on that link there, um, the uh, the second one I put in, it'll bring it up for you. Mm -hmm. So um, I get I I subscribe to the Patch uh, new system, and I get Martinez Patch because that's where my wife is at. And interesting thing they said, one of the articles, this is uh, several weeks old, this article, but so it's increased since then. And it, so it says here, seven day average newly confirmed Corona cases in Contra Costa County has gone from 38 to 87 per day with the percentage of uh, tests coming back positive has increased from 4% to 6%. So out of 100 people that get tested, only 6% are coming back positive. All right. I'm sorry to hear that, Jehoadak. And, um, and, and, and so in June, 55% um, of the people tested positive have been 40 years old or younger compared to 38% in April. So more young people are getting it. And to emphasize that, this came out um, earlier this week. The uh, the ranges here, uh, majority of, of, of cases have been diagnosed in people in the age of 31 to 40 years of age. That's the highest group of people. The next highest group, in this is in Contra Costa County. Which is part, which is basically pretty much the same for all the San Francisco Bay Area. The next age range for uh, no, is twenty-one to thirty percent. Now, many people believe that children can't get the get get the uh, red dragon, but in Contra Costa County, five hundred and fifty-two cases have been reported in the twenty and younger age group. Okay. That's what I'm going to answer that uh, question, Dave. I'm going to answer at least one of them real fast. All right, one go ahead. From the wide family. Well, um, I'll get to hers in just a second. Mary Beth, why would why would people already who have already had it wear a mask? Because that way you don't transmit it to me who haven't had it yet. Okay, I have not had it. But if I have to go to a store and you've already had it and you're symptom free at the moment um you can still distribute the virus it's proven numerous times over dr bones has talked about it gill and i've talked about it you still stay able to transmit it even after you come you know even after your first round of it so if you've had it wear a mask you're protecting yeah. everybody else yeah so you you can still 
even though you're symptom free and you're quote recovered, you are still contagious, can be still contagious for another week or two afterwards. Yep, right. exactly. All right. Uh, there, now they're, they've saying that they've, they've documented in some cases up to three weeks. 22 days after supposedly being symptom free, they have still found viral anti or viral bacteria in people's breath and their mucus. Right. Okay. Not some Unfortunately, beard. some yeah. of those people who have tested still positive after 21, 22 days wind up getting it a second time. Yeah. Well, they really didn't get it a second time. Their body just quit fighting it and they relapsed is what it is. Right. Yeah. It's just they like had, they had their own leukemia. personal resurgence. Right. right. Let me like tell leukemia. you. Somebody can have leukemia and be symptom free from leukemia and be that way for 30 years and then relapse. This is right. a similar premise is what I'm trying to explain. Right. Yeah, um, you're right, Michelle. Now, there's one, also, I'll, let me throw something in here real also, quick, Al. So uh, one of the things to realize, the there are 10 question? different, mm -hmm. 10 different um, variants of it. And you may have, have had one of them, but one of the other variants can come around and bite you in the butt. Okay. Now to Courtney's question, if you get the flu shot, does it lessen the symptoms of the dragon? No. Two entirely different beasts. One is green and ugly and we fight it every year. This one is red, nasty, and keeps changing. Like Gil just said, it's up to 10 different mutations. The mutation, according to the latest doctor's reports that I've seen, um, mind you, I'm seeing them as in, you ain't supposed to see them, don't tell me where you've seen them type thing. Um, it's an entirely different thing. So some of the people that are getting it now don't even register the same antibodies, the same germs, if you will, as the people who got it back in January and February, mm. it's mutated enough to where mm. what was effective back then is no longer effective. All right. I want to yeah. address refuge. Welcome to the live stream. Yeah. Okay. I want to address uh, Courtney's uh, statement here. So do it I. depends on the mask. If you're just wearing a cloth mask, it's the, what it stops is very, very little. If you're wearing an N95, N99, or N100, or even one of the more um, stringent, full, rubberized face ones with the canisters and stuff, those stop a lot more. The N95 stops 95% of particles, nine, uh, one micron or larger. Well, I, I can tell you why there's so much confusion here. Because, you know, they, they, it's this great big huge meme that's going around Facebook and YouTube and everywhere else and Instagram and Twitter and all this other crap um, of this guy. He's got drywall dust all over his face. He's got a mask hanging down below his chin. And it says, drywall dust, is this micron? Dragon, is this micron? It doesn't, <laughs> these don't stop crap. Well, you know what? If you look at the way the mask or the powder is on his face, you can tell he was not wearing the mask properly. <clears throat> Key issue with that. If you're going to wear a mask, A, wear it right. B, don't touch the front of it. Don't touch your face. Yeah. Take it off with two fingers and dispose of. If you have a washable kind, um, I don't recommend them. But if that's all you got, and you have one that you can put, uh, where did I put it? I grabbed it so I could have it. Boo. Yeah. This is just a bandana kind, you guys. Yeah. Yep. Now you can make it more effective. And I have it, it has Velcro. I have it so it has right. Velcro see, on the end. So this right here is a replaceable filter. It goes in cloth mask. If you don't have one of these to put inside your cloth mask, then no, you're not doing a lick good to yourself or anybody else. Get one yep. you can replace filters in. Make sure you wash them appropriately in the hottest uh, possible water this one has a filter it. in it yeah yeah but if you don't change that filter out after you've worn it once it's no good yeah you got to change that filter out i got yeah, filter every, for it. yeah, it's like this one i got i got six filters that came with this one here two in each pack and they fit, fit into the the pockets here now there are a lot of patterns going out. In fact, my wife has the pattern. She's actually making some some of the uh, masks. She's called she just calls them um, cough suppression masks. 
They're not, you know, they're just, you know, material to help your cough from going quite so far. And it works for great for dust too. So, okay. See, there's a little thing on you, that. They have, they make the pockets on those masks to put this material in. This is the N95 material. This is not, this is just regular uh, material to hold this in place. Okay, everybody, the PM, the PM 2.5. Yeah, that's okay. the one you want. This is rated at, um, con in conjunction with a mask, to stop the dragon. Right. Is it going to stop it 100% effectively? No, because guess what? If you don't know exactly what you're doing 100% of the time and you haven't been trained by a medical professional or had the proper videos to watch to learn how to do it correctly, taking it on, taking it off. I don't care what kind of mask you're wearing. You're not doing a bit of good. All right. So, I and mean, no if, you're, if you can't get a mask, anything is better than nothing because mm -hmm. it'll keep you from touching your face. Right. How and does this it get to your How does it get into your system? You touch, you wipe. You have a link for that, Dave? You, got yeah. you can find okay. it anywhere. Yeah. And this you can find anywhere, but it's about equal to this in protection. But it reminds you not to touch your face. So you're yeah. wearing one of these, and if you have, like Dave's up there says, with one of those filter, that's better than wearing this alone. Yeah. Right, CR. So when you guys take it off, top, top. so this is just one of the cloth ones my wife made. And so, basically, this works like the N95s. Go up and over for the first one, and over for the second one. Make sure it fits tight. All right, this all this one here is good for is dust and sneezing. It just stops a little bit of stuff going out. It's not an N95. This is a two-layer cloth. So when I go to take it off, take one off. Take the other one off, and this goes in the laundry for a okay. hot, ble hot bleach load. Mm -hmm. On the chat on the side, Living Road Glyph, if you don't know how to breathe in the mask and you have to work outside in the hot weather, stay at home. Okay? If people knows how to breathe through a proper mask, working outside in 102 degree heat, I'm living here in 105 degree heat, and I'm outside with a mask. You got to know how to breathe. breathe it's the same as breathing through a respirator when you go diving. Right. You Controlled. Through. Inhale through your mouth. Exhale through your nose. If you don't follow it, and if you don't do it that way, you're going to wind up being short of breath because you're going to start trying to breathe faster and faster to try and catch up for the air you're not getting. And we lost Mr. Gill. He went to Max Hedrum on us and disappeared. Yeah, he's Great. on the he's on the froze mode. Yeah, but like Dave said over there, you hyperventilate and you acidify your blood. Another trick of mine is a teaspoon of baking soda in water. If you go outside and use a mask, that the the bleh, that this deacidifies your blood. Do like Dave said over there. I'm pointing to Dave. Learn how to breathe. That's the main thing because both Gil and me, we used to have the OSHA and hazmat training licenses and certificates. I lost that stuff in my house fire about 10 years ago, and I'm still pissed off with that because I have to retrain for everything, and it ain't cheap. No, and I've had to have the OSHA training too for the jobs I've had. When you haul hazardous materials across this country, you have to have a proper OSHA training. You have to carry a hazmat suit and full kit inside your semi. I did that for a few years. I've still got a license showing my hazmat endorsement if anybody doubts what I'm saying. So, I mean, that, that's up to you. But um, Gil and I have discussed this in the past at length. And I guess the easiest way to say it is if you doubt what we're saying, go back and look what we've said. Yep. Compare it to the news that's being but reported. Did, but it didn't Google. See it. Now, I don't care if they Google or not. Personally, I, I'm. we've told everybody what's going to happen before it was news. Now they're saying it's news, and they still doubt what we're saying, even though we've already predicted it. And Bottom line, my, wear a mask. 
here's my standpoint on it. <clears throat> you know, this, this comes down to, in a sense, a biblical standpoint for me. I am so irritated that all these so-called Christians welcome come back out here and yeah, welcome back, Gil. Um, nice internet claim, service. <laughs> who claim to be Christian, who are, you know, just screaming at the top of their lungs, making matters worse. They're not helping anything or anybody, but it comes down to one biblical principle. And when Jesus said it, he was actually talking about taxes, but it is with the Bible, it actually pertains to all levels of life. So, you know, the Pharisee said, what do you give Caesar? And Jesus said, you give Caesar what is due to Caesar, you give to God what is due to God. Then it pertains to the law as well. So if you're governor of your state, whether you like that person or not, whether you agree with that law or not, if you are a Christian, you do as the governor tells you to do, whether you like it or not. It ain't nothing about, you know, you can spew about rights all day long. But if you're living the way God says to do it, which is you give unto Caesar what is due to Caesar, in this case, our governments, whether I like it or not, if DeWine says I have to wear one 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I'll wear one because I'm doing what my governor told me to do. Whether I like it or not, that's following a biblical standard. Right. If you're a Christian and you're out there spewing hate and vile words and all this other stuff, I'm calling you out on it because you ain't Christian. Yeah. You better repent and go right. talk to God and stop because you're not helping the situation. You're fueling the fires of those on the other side of the aisle who want to cause more chaos and confusion. Yeah. You're helping them. So if you want that to stop, you got to quit feeding the fire. Yeah. So up in Michigan, the goofy governor said you have to wear one. If DeWine says it, I'm going to have to wear one. I've got six here in the house that are cloth with replaceable filters yeah. that are washable, machine washable. Okay. Uh, so there's a, well, to tag onto that one thing really quick, um, <laughs> uh, Michelle, yes, cloth masks will help a little. They don't, ha they don't, they won't stop as much, but they will stop a little. Which is why my wife is making these ones for people that say they have a hard time breathing the other ones. When it comes to breathing through the mass, I'll let me grab this one again here real quick. How much space does this hold against my face? So when I put it on, you got maybe two cubic inches or three cubic inches of air between the mask and my face. Now, if I put it on and I'm just going <laughs> short breaths because it, it's hard for me to breathe. What am I doing? I'm breathing out carbon dioxide and filling that up with carbon dioxide. And I'm breathing that right back in again and not much oxygenated air through the mask. So, yeah, you, I'm going to get lightheaded and everything else. If you breathe normal, full breaths. You breathe out 20 times that amount. You're not going to um, short yourself on oxygen. I work hazmat and you know, with all sorts of different type masks. They all, if it breathing right, they all work right. They've all been tested by the agency that's supposed to test it, not the CDC. CDC does not test masks in any way, shape, or form, and they should keep their damn mouth shut about masks. You listen to NIOSH, National Institute for Occupational health and safety. They're the ones that rate masks from everything from the surgical masks in the hospitals to the big old huge screw-on canisters that are for nuclear, biological, chemical weapons. All right. Those are the guys that rate it and test it. The, um, but like I said, a cloth mask will help a little bit. My wife makes them double layered. So it catches a little bit more. Mainly it catches spittle particles that if you cough whatever from getting out and getting on somebody else but um as far as bringing you can stuff watch in, them 
Yeah, and you, you can, can wash, wash them, them. And, and use them over again. That's what I like about them. Exactly. And they're made so that, you know, she just she sewed it up solid. But if I were to go inside there, I could open up the seam here and tuck in one of those other uh, N95 filters inside of this to make this an N95 type mask. Okay. I got, there's a question by White Family. Mm -hmm. If your husband works with hazmat stuff, and doesn't have the mask or equipment, is he working in hazmat? Um, all right. That's a uh, two-edged sword there. He could be working in hazmat, and the company he's working for is not providing and following the rules. They're not in compliance. They're not, in, yeah, exactly. They're not in compliance. Um, generally, any type of thing where they're dealing with quote, real classified hazmat and it's a classified job site, they have to have a whole bunch of type of gear on the site. They got to have the showers. They got to have the decon stations. They got to have everything there. And the fact that they're not having it, it's probably not real hazmat as far as what is classified as hazmat. It may be nasty stuff like cement dust cement dust is not classified as hazmat asbestos is classified as hazmat and it, you know so yeah it, um to uh and right now a lot of companies are skimping on providing stuff my son works for a restoration company they deal with mold and rotten stuff, rain damage, fire damage, smoke damage, all that stuff. And they were giving him masks, and he was getting a fresh mask every day. And they got mad at him and said, hey, you got to use this for several days. And so, yeah, he, so basically he's bringing it home, um, cleaning it. And, you know, I, I told him how to, how to clean it the best he can, putting it in the oven at, at 185 degrees for a half an hour to kill anything that's on there. And so, yeah, so he's, you know, but he's taking more precautions with his stuff than the other guys are. Okay. If he's touching bags and hospital stuff that has poop in it, that's an OSHA violation right there. He's not supposed to touch anything like that if it's biohazard. Yeah, he should be, he should be wearing a, some sort of a gown or smock and have the, that comes, comes goes down, sleeves down. And rubber gloves on. And rubber gloves, and yeah. and slip-on booties at the very least, and some sort of mask as well. Right, and it's not. If they give you this crap and tell you to handle hospital ways, you kick them in the nuts and call OSHA. That's a biohaz violation. Like Gil said, you have to be suited up proper, not this crud. Yeah. Oh. They give you one of these things and tell you that will protect you from biohazard. Then you kick them in the face. This won't do anything for biohazard. Okay, Nana, uh, Nana Brenda, she was asking how much masks are. They used to be 99 cents, but now they're kind of a big spike in them. Anywhere from, I don't know, seven or eight dollars all the way up to 20 or 30 dollars depending on how big of an item you want what you want whether you want it to look cool or whatever you know yeah the uh we pull this up here uh it's going to that ebay no i don't want that like uh, that blue work. one like that blue one i showed you guys with the little air things inside i, I think i paid like seven bucks for that thing yeah before they were a big deal, I think I only paid like three bucks for it. All right. So this is the NIOSH, uh, one of the NIOSH uh, pocket guide to chemical books. This is, you know, the purple is the one which uh, I uh, worked with for the hazmat I was working with. They have a green version here. And uh, then they got uh, some other books they've coming out with, you know, different different ratings on, uh, you know, protective technologies and all sorts of fun stuff. So, but uh, yeah, NIOSH, National Institute for Occupational Sa uh, Safety and Health. What so. hospital allows this or 
laundry agency and what state? <coughs> because this Ohio. Guy, where for a uh, wide family? Yep, that's oh. Ohio. Uh, North Ohio. Oh, God. All right, Ohio should have their brains checked because if you want to spread this this disease faster than lightning, disobey the health and regulation laws. Gil knows it, I know it, Dave know it, but certain states, they think we're magical unicorns. It won't affect our employees. Alone. Well, if y'all yeah. remember back at the beginning of February, I re reported to y'all that a nurses organization in California was suing the government for failure to disclose proper information to provide proper PPE. Shortly after we reported it, and it went live twice more after that in California, the story suddenly vanished from the headlines. <laughs> I'll guarantee the people that started that lawsuit got paid heftily under the table to shut up. I'm pretty sure about that. All right. Um, so my wife makes these and give and gives them away. She, you know, has, you know, she, you know, she's, you know, she's working at home. Um, Olivia doing it too? I don't know if she's uh, giving hers away, uh, but Olivia was uh, doing Olivia it. at Simply Olivia P. Um, uh, that's her channel. She's making them with setup for the inserts. So you can put the inserts in them. And I'm not sure how much she's selling them for, but my wife is just making them for all, all the friends, neighbors, and everyone at church and just, you know, give, making them and giving them away. There's another uh, person that you can reach out to as well. Excuse me. And that is Mouse Toes. That's her handle here on YouTube, Mouse Toes. Check with Mouse Toes to see if she, you know, if you need some made and you can't find anybody else, check with her. Um, yeah. She's always willing to help. And if you need cooking information or instruction, she's really good at that shit too. Okay. Um, as far as the elastic goes, Michelle, um, uh, the elastic is, get, is coming back in supply. Because you know, after the big run, they're you know, they're getting stuff shipped out now again. Uh, but I expect it to disappear again. So if you want to make some, either off of Amazon, Walmart.com, uh, Michaels, um, uh, what's the other crafts? A uh, Hobby Lobby. Yeah. You know, get you know, you know, get some elastic. Um, there you go. So there's several options. Even Sherry over at Two Family is as well. Right. Now, my wife left a whole bunch of elastic for my daughter to make some masks here, too. Yeah. Um, this, okay, N95s are not designed for industrial use. Now, white family husband is working in a, in a hospital in the 100 green high humidity area. This crap. Yeah, it, it'll deteriorate way too fast because the humidity level. Right, yeah. You have to go with a half mask. You buy well, it, with the... All right, cat. Anyway, um, you need the P masks. P right. masks are, if I remember correctly, are the ones that are rated for higher humidity. Yeah. The standard N95s, the N masks, aren't designed. Designed. I'll learn to speak someday for the moisture <laughs> content. If you no are problem. in high moisture, you need the P masks. The P95s right. are designed for the higher humidity. Right. And, and, and they're still, they still look the same. But then uh, you can get these other half face masks with the uh, interchangeable cartridges, and you just get the cartridge for the environment you're working in. Now, example, this one right here. Let me click on it over here and get it up big. Uh, it didn't go that much yeah, bigger. But uh, the purple part is a HEPA filter, which is like a... Uh, N N100 plus, and the yellow is a vapor for, um, which deals with chemicals. Uh, chemicals like uh, pesticides, herbicides, stuff like that. Now I people say, oh, hey, oh, if you can smell it, it's not working because I sprayed some. Uh, I was out to spray bug spray, and I could smell it. Well, bug spray is not one micron in size; it's a lot smaller, and, and it'll go through. Yeah, and it's not N95 masks are not designed for vapors. You have to have a special vapor cartridge to deal with vapor chemical vapors. So, and Tim, yes, if you have the right frequency, uh, remind me, Gil, to 
249.5, 240? Nope. Close. UV? 254. 254, that's it. I'm sorry. I've got a kid that's got issues at the moment, yeah. too. So my brain's half here and half there. I'll be back again. Yeah. 254 nanometers is the wavelength of the UV light. Not 400. 400 doesn't do squat. That's your standard black light for your posters. You want the two, uh, the 254 nanometers for it. Now, you can also look up. Let me, hey, well, I got it here. Let me put, put it up here. Um, UV germ recital lamp. Boom, right there. And you can get, um, let's go over here to images. Ah, come on, I didn't do it right. Dang it. <laughs> UV thermocidal lamp. I don't know why it went backwards on me. So you look at them and they will say specifically on, you make sure the ones that say specific, specifically on them that say 254 nm nanometers now they do have uh the little um um uh, i'm not sure what it's called i'm going to type in box and see what it brings up here if it brings up yeah brings up the little containers that you like uh doc bones and nurse amy showed looks like a little <laughs> toaster oven you stick it in there you if you get the one that also produces ozone so much the better because ozone also will uh, kill the virus. So you have the ones that produce ozone and the 250 uh, nanometer range uh, chemical uh, uh, light waves, and it will, you know, sterilize the masks. So right. um, now they even the price on these they're a little spendy. All right, here, here's here's exactly one of the ones here. Let me pop this one up here. Well, you do, do. there it is. Okay. See, um, I don't want that, you know. So it, it's got the light, it's got um, forward and everything. Yeah, you know, this is uh, $200. There are some other ones out there, and we were looking at them when um, Doc Bones and Nurse Amy were on. They were at $109, was the cheapest one that was, was rated. For the uh, 254 nanometers and providing the uh, production of uh, ozone as well. Okay, folks. Well, get get takes a break and you look at the boxes and stuff. If somebody gives you this instead of the proper mask uh, or surgical mask and tell people that this will stop at work, kick them in the nuts. This is just a courtesy one that the hospital gives that for people that don't know better. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a, uh, you know, you, you can research for sale on eBay, on Amazon for those uh, germicidal, um, UV ger germicidal devices. Um, Dave ha even has one of the wands where he just has to, he has to wave it over for a minute, a couple minutes to get it to work, but it, it doesn't it does, produce. So now the, they're like little uh, charging boxes. Yeah, but it doesn't produce the um, uh, the ozone for it, which which helps uh, sterilize masks better. Now, as far as I'm going to go to a subject now, part of it uh, from the beginning, is this the second wave or is this just a resurgence? Technically, for all all flus and stuff like that, including the Spanish, during the summertime, it dropped down to almost nothing. And then in the fall, when it cooled down, that's when it came back. And that's when that, that is officially a, a second wave. With this uh, particular one, it thrives even in the summertime. Hey, we're having 100 degree weather, and what's it doing? We're up to you know 61,000, 71,000, you know, new cases every day. It ain't taking a break. So this is it's basically it's it, it went up, 
and then it kind of plateaued there in the uh, in the low 30s, high 20s for a while, and now it's going back up again, and it's really going up. It's like it's like Tom Cruise and Goose in uh, Maverick and Goose. We're going ballistic, Maverick. <laughs> and Remember that great movie, folks? Yeah. So now, does this mean? Oh, I got to get scared. I got to freak out. No. What it means is, hmm. Geez, I need to make sure I'm wearing my PPE, personal protective equipment, masks. Gloves, goggles. Either it could be it could be the the face shield from Harbor Freight, which is really really a cool little uh, cheat. Let me bring it up here for you. It is really cool. Um, I got a couple of them. Harbor Freight. I do like Will. I got my welding mask. I'll just wear that and flip up the goggles. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Harbor Freight still has them and a lot in stock because people aren't buying them because they, I don't want to wear that. I'll look silly. Hey, my daughter wears it to her doctor's appointments when she, before she had a kid and she still goes in for the after, after uh, appointments and she has to, has um, all of her totally covered up, you know, with blankets and stuff to protect them. All right. So I am looking at, um, oh, come on, give me the regular headband. shirt. There it is. Headband. Uh, excuse me, coupons here. Right. Let me go to this thing here. I'll just bring it up here this way. There we go. Face shield. All right. Safety face shield. All right. So let me bring it up here for you. Uh, oh, come on. Natural, now they got the disposable mask. They're yeah, putting, they're pushing right. those. That's not it. Um. Uh, Face shield, just face shield without safety on it. Try visor. No. Nope. Yeah. Ah, why is it showing it? I mean, I was just looking at it the other day. Don't tell me they sold out. That's one thing yep. they do. They do pull it off when they're when they're online is out of it. Yeah. But it's um, it's really simple. It's, um, if, you know, the stores have it. It's like, it was like four bucks when I got it. And all this is a piece of plastic with a little, little um, um, rim on it to hold it. And um, a big, oh. big white piece of elastic going around that you can adjust and just put it on. And that in front of your eyes and your mask, that makes your mask 200% better. Go check out Doc Bones and Nurse Amy's YouTube channel. Yeah, okay. Nurse Amy put out several videos on how to make a face shield and masks. Yeah, for those who are industrious. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Um, I've seen it. So everybody, go check it out. Like Dave says, uh, another <coughs> thing, up, guys, while you're talking, do you yeah. see this? I hope you can see that. Yeah. Okay, this is not soap. This is scrub lab. Okay, this is used before you go to surgery. Yeah. Get a bottle. It's not cheap. Because they don't take much. Yeah. They know what I'm talking about. Will know what I'm talking about. Gil know who I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. You scrub this on your hands for about 20 seconds under hot water. If it's cold, a minute. Okay. Yeah. Until you do not feel the scum. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the other the more the generic version of that is Pfizer. Right. But yeah, the one of the you know, the thing is that that I wanted to get out here hey, Max, is do. don't okay, Max let me close this other one down again. Okay. Um is don't be fearful, be knowledgeable and take the appropriate steps. Don't listen to the crazed masses saying, oh, it's nothing. It's all a conspiracy. They're just trying to uh, infringe on our rights. Uh, no, the government's trying to protect your butt and protect their own butt at the same time. Um, now, do we have idiots in the government who are completely buffoons? 
and yeah, don't know what they're Trump. talking about, you better believe we do. Um, and here's to prove a point here. Well, I finished closing that page out. <laughs> if you go back to February, and I do believe, but it might be wrong, it was the one where I had Doc Bones and Nurse Amy on. We talked about Mr. Fuji or Fauci or whatever his doctor name is. How we thought he might be telling small little teeny fibs. Last month he came out and admitted he lied to all you. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we warned you that they were lying to you. Half the people in the here said we didn't know what we're talking about. The other half were scratching their head, going, Okay, well, check it out when it happens. Well, there's the proof. We told you he lied, he admitted he lied. We're not lying to you, we're not trying to cause fear. But in order for you to make an informed decision, you have to have information. That's why we try to get as much information. And yeah, it can be information overload. But yeah. the more information you have, the better prepared you are to make a decision. The best illustration I can make is go read The Art of War by Sun Tzu. In order to destroy right your enemies, you I'm having to, uh, I got to take care of myself. Okay. If you want to destroy your enemy, you have to know your enemy. And half know. these people out here who think they're going to destroy something don't know their own butts. Right. Trying to be as polite and as possible. Let, let me answer why farm question again. So oh, there's the face visor. Yeah. Yep. Simple, simple little face mask here. Bunch of different places. Um, Walmart has it for uh, almost $11. Uh, they got a three-piece splash. They also call it anti-splash dust lens. This will make your mask 200% better because it's a hard shield that you know, direct someone sneezing at you. It's going to hit that, and it's got to go around and change direction to get to your mask. But it'll also protect your eyeballs from getting um, um, droplets very, in your eye eyeballs. Okay, the answer why family farms. A lot of places are selling substandard hand sanitizers. You can make your own. Just make sure you got this rating of alcohol and you got glycerol. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I used to yeah. make homemade dynamite. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> the other thing about. too, um, who, who just put it out? It was it um was it uh it was either Mimsy's garden or Mims. Uh, just did the one with the with the um yeah mimsy's garden just what did one talking about using the aloe gel mm -hmm. right not not the liquid the aloe gel the and the aloe everclear oh, the 190 <laughs> proof everclear which is 95 percent alcohol the and thing about don't use it, on cut. Is it it doesn't dry your hands out right it, it'll also heal any minor cuts you may have which will help prevent anything from getting into your system. Right, but if you're doing that system with it, aloe vera gel, make sure it's pure aloe vera gel, not, not a synthetic. And two, you have to reapply the Everclear to it every week because aloe vera will lose its strength and grow the bacteria or uh, virus in the gel. Not the, the red dragon, but other stuff. And this bottle was empty. I refilled it. Using these simple, this is Equate. You get that at Walmart, and you get this at Walmart. It's not rocket science, folks. Also, I cheat. I also spray everything in the house with Lysol. Oh. I'm not taking any chances. Okay, let's see. Uh, trying, trying to bring it, that video up here for you guys. Which uh, one is that? The hand sanitizer. Uh, here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna bring put the link in there for you. I have no problem with it doing retro food. Uh wood alcohol in it, it's toxic. Do not use it. You can start fires with it, but do not use it as a hand sanitizer. Yeah. No, if they're wearing a mask on in their vehicle, hey, more power to them. Yeah. Even if there's nobody else in it. Well, see, I I, I will go out and if I go to uh um Okay, here's uh, there's the link, and this is her video um, for the uh, uh, how to make a recommended strong enough for uh, you know what.
Hello, hand cabbage. sanitizer gel. And so she has the aloe vera gel and the Everclear. And she gives the formula how to make it. Now, too. Um, uh, what was, what was uh, all right, uh, masks in the vehicles. So, um, I'll if I if I go out, I wait until I have a li uh, several places to hit at once. So I will go to um, Home Depot, get the stuff, go drive around the parking lot to Sam's Club, get some stuff there, go over to the um, Albertsons, get the few things I need at Albertsons, and come home. And in the entire time, I'll be wearing my mask. Now, if I also have to go to the bank like I do tomorrow. I will leave the mask on. I'm not going to take it off because I already got a good fit and seal on it. So I'll wear it while I drive down to the mask. I mean, down to the bank until I'm all done shopping. I'm going home. Then I will take it off. I I'm not just going to leave it on um, for forever, but I'm not, not going to be taking it on and off, on and off, on and off, because nope, that's a good way just, to get contaminated. Actually, right. You're taking the risk of contaminating yourself. Yeah. Right. Now, folks, if like your Uncle Allen only has one and a half lungs, you can buy and have professionally installed HEPA filter cabin filters for the car. Because I did this a year and a half ago and paid $300 to get them installed. So what it does, it takes all the crud in the air down to the last micron and filters it through. And I just turn on the air conditioning or heater or whatever. And the whole cabin of the car is filled with clean air because I cough and I have COPD. So I got a doctor's uh, note for it. And those filters ain't cheap. No, but there's a, uh, <clears throat> one of the things you, you can do uh, before the price goes back up on them, they have the, um, the air pump masks. And basically it's like a little box about this size that goes on your belt and it has replaceable N N100 filters for it. And it has a little hose coming up and you have a little mask, like a CPAP mask. And so it's, and it's battery powered. And so it's constantly blowing air. So you, if you have a beard on, it's perfect because it goes on there and it blows the air out the beard. So you're not breathing anything in. It will not allow you to suck in because it's got right, it's positive air pressure. Good night. Good night, Anna. Yeah. Yeah, CR, if they're wearing masks and gloves and they grab the front of their mask and pull it down to their chin and they're wearing their gloves and driving their vehicle, they've done absolutely nothing to protect themselves. Nothing. All their so-called preventative measures and all that money they've spent to get all that stuff was a waste. They'd have been better off not wearing a mask at all. Yep. Yeah. All now, right. what we haven't discussed is the HEPA hoods like Gil says, that's another form of the pressure one. Has a hose, has a battery pack. It's a whole hood. It's soft hood. Yep, soft hood. If it's over your head, you can see out of it. If you have a beard or facial condition. Now, this is a medical one. You cannot buy, go online and buy it. You have to have a doctor's order for it. It is <laughs> with a really bad lung condition. A real condition if i see another person who wears one of these things and they said they can't breathe and tell me they have a lung condition i'm going to wrap them across the head with this i have a lung condition sorry hold that up now Kalen, um michigan's most of michigan's major cities buses have those clear, clear plastic shields because of the violence yeah so for other cities to start using them is probably a good idea not because of the violence, but because they do protect people. Okay, I'm trying to find that. Ah, here it's we weird. go. It's better than getting sick, so let them think you're weird. I don't want to die and vomit blood. That's another thing that a lot of people don't tell you. And not only we got the red dragon, the surge, and the other diseases, but there's still TB. Ubekistan pneumonia, that thing that came out of Africa, I can't remember this in the afternoon. We, I can't remember it. 
that came out of Africa that everybody freaked out. There's other airborne diseases, so please be careful. Okay, so let me put this up here. Images. Nightmare about. There we go. All right, guys, here you go for um, the different type of uh, hoods they have. Um, this one here is a partial partial seal around, but it blows air through, so it doesn't have to have a tight seal. Here's a total over the hood one, over the head one. This one here is. Come on, bring it up. Basically, it hits up, just comes over your shoulders. Wear it like a hat. You got your clear thing on it. There are a bunch of different ones on here. They got their uh, the battery powered pumps for them with the uh, filters on it and the hose connects onto it. You know, see them. They got the big big ones. They got the small ones. And so, like here's, here's a little bit smaller smaller version here. If you're real, if you if you have a serious condition, one of these might be an option for you to look into. Talk to your insurance company and doctor. You need and doctor. A doctor. Yeah, you have to have it written out. Yeah. So, but they they have um, you know these these are just hoods. They're wearing a white suit too, but it's the hood part is what that what what it is, and they have the different attachable uh, filters for it. So this this one here is the all right. So the, the, this is has the uh, the purple means it's a HEPA filter. And this one also has um, has for like chlorine and some right. other, other uh, vapors and stuff. Right. This is a real expensive one. You don't need all you just need is the purple one. You don't need the purple and yellow. You just need like a purple one because that's the HEPA filter. So yeah, they do have the different uh, type of ones you have. You know, simple full face ones, simple hood ones. Now, if you see Uncle Alan wearing that outside, then you run home and you lock yourself in. Yeah, because he'll also be wearing his uh, tin hat, carrying his harpoon. <laughs> yeah, so, harpoon. I'm, I'm going to say something there to Kaylin. Um, if she says that she can't breathe due to asthma, I have COPD. Relatively bad case of it. I'm just short of needing oxygen and I still smoke. But that's because of other medical reasons. It keeps my blood pressure in check. Because I have naturally low blood pressure. And the last time I tried quitting smoking, I had big issues. Anywho, um, if I can breathe through a dang mask with COPD, if she's only got asthma, she can breathe. It's mm -hmm. up here. It's mental. Yeah. Well, it's also... Um... You know, some people have a minor case of claustrophobia, claustrophobia, and they'll just and they'll they will, mm -hmm. you know, it triggers and they you know start freaking out. Um, yeah, that I can understand. Yeah, but for somebody to say, "Oh, I've got asthma. I just can't wear one." I got one right there that says that. Oh, I got asthma. I got to have an inhaler. I can't wear a mask. Oh crap! Yeah, so you yeah. got either one. It's all up here in her head. Yeah, my my niece has asthma really bad. And um, I, I taught her how to breathe through an N95 mask years ago. And she, mouth, you know, she says, it's, it's fine now. I'm glad you know, she had it on Facebook <laughs> talking about it. But, yeah, the, um, you have to realize you can't just put on a mask and expect to breathe without some concentration to first learn how to breathe. You can't go, oh, and, you know, oh, it's hard. Oh, oh. No, you need yep, to and you hyperventilate and then you just, you just need to breathe. Like these guys said, you have to be trained to use a mask. Yeah. And then the, the, there's a serious problem here because now the government's saying everybody should wear a mask, but they're not giving anybody proper guidelines. Training. Yeah, no guidelines yeah. at all. Even the guidelines. guidelines from the WHO are a joke. The guidelines yeah. from the CDC are a bigger joke. That's because they're all getting paid by Big Pharma to spin lies every other week. All right. So if you want breathe to in, go ahead, Dave. Breathe in through your mouth. Nice, normal breath out through your nose. Focus on that as you're right. driving or whatever. You, before you even put the mask on, practice the proper breathing techniques. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you right now, if you want to go snorkeling or scuba diving and you don't pro practice a proper You'll wind up with the bends even at only 10 feet. Yeah. Right. Like Dave right. said, in, in Japan, 
they have a program of people wearing shorts, doing the breathing exercise. Then they put on the mask. They show you how, like Gil, Gil, put on the mask, how to take off the mask, put it in a plastic bag. Now, like Americans, throw it everywhere. You know, I see them hanging on trees and bushes. No, you put yeah. it in a plastic bag and then you dispose of it. Have a good night, Mama Z. Ooh, chicken corn. You dispose of it properly. You do not throw it out the car window. You do not throw it at the burger place. You put it in a plastic bag and you put it in the proper recycle. Please throw it out in TV. I mean, don't 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 do that. Don't do that. I didn't. I don't condone violence. Throw it out in TV. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm anyway. just checking something out here. Go ahead. Um, yeah. There are several videos out there so let me throw this up here how to put on yeah, a medical mask how to wear a medical mask doc bones n95 and nurse amy how to wear how to wear and remove doc bones and nurse amy i'll have a couple of them as well but one of the things when i was looking on this how to uh, hang on here let me change this here how to make a mask they have that video as well. And they yep. got a bunch of uh, uh, patterns of showing how to make fabric ones where you use either the air loop ones, which have uh, like using the um, hair ties or the ones that go all, with the last that goes all the way around like the N95s do. They got, you know, how to make the ones with the pockets, how to, you know, all sorts of different ones. So, um, yeah, there's all sorts of different patterns out here and to do it. Uh, there's one with it, how to make the transparent face shield like uh, 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 Nurse Amy made. So, just yeah, there, there is a folks. lot of things out there to look at, guys. Just just don't do what I mean went around a while back and do what the one guy did and grabbed a pair of his granny's underwear and threw his granny's underwear over his head. That's not going to work. No. No, that's wrong on so many levels. Yeah, or bra pads. Yeah. All right, our I'm numbers are, our numbers haven't gone up in the last hour, so uh, we've maxed out on our numbers. So we're at seventy one thousand seven hundred and eighty seven for today. I just checked them too. There you go, wide family. That's the way to do it. Yep. Yes, we are talking about the dark winter. The dark winter is from September 20, 2020 to March 2021. Do not get me started on this because I'm going to have to do a video on it. And I, my God, I take my blood pressure medication in a few minutes, so I don't want to raise my blood pressure up. Yeah, I've already had mine raised, so I'm good. If I read my blood pressure and it hits past 400, I got to go to the hospital. Okay, the dark winter is going to be from September 2020 to March 2021. Stock up on food. Be very careful. If Dave's right, I think Dave's up there, mm -hmm. and we have problems with weather and trucking, because a lot of Americans don't understand if we have snow on the highway and we have idiots jumping up and down, trucks can't stop at 80 miles or 50 miles an hour a wet, snowy road where some idiots holding a cardboard flying, screaming, whatever issue they have, they're going to run them over because they have to make that food run or medical run or whatever. Uh, I'm going to swallow another lozenge. Wait. Whatever they're delivering, important. Mask in the rain. Wear a hood. Yeah, yeah like he said, the visor. The visor will keep the mask a lot drier. And if you wear, an, wear if you have the, the visor and you have a hoodie uh, sweatshirt on over it, you know, cut your, hey, it'll keep the visor dry. I mean, it'll keep the mask dry. I just get the whole big ho hood thing that fits over you. That way you don't have to worry about the hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> or you can follow my routine. Just don't go anywhere. Yeah. And I have went a few times <laughs> lately. <but. clears throat> Uh, you know, but the, no, guy who, you know, the guy in China used bra pads. He died from the infection. So don't use a bra pad as a mask. No. 
Yeah. Yeah, so there's, um, well, to quote Iron Man, well, if I'm saying anything at all, what I'm trying to say is, you know, it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about a legacy we're going to leave behind. Are we going to live? Are we going to show intelligence? Is it we going to show that we had intelligence enough to, hey, we need to wear a mask and wear gloves and wear goggles or whatever, protect our eyes so that we don't succumb to this virus that's out there. Don't so uh, let me put it to you in a more succinct way. Do you want your children and grandchildren to grow up looking back at you and saying, you flipping idiot? Or do you want them to look at you and say, you know what? Grandma and grandpa were right. I'm glad we listened. Yeah, they're yeah. pretty smart. They, 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 that's I, how you do it. If you, you can look it. back at yourself and say, "What if what I'm doing now, my children are going to be proud to look back and say, grandma and grandpa did it right, then you're doing okay. But if you think your kids are going to look back at you and say, you flipping idiot, then you may possibly want to change what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Just right. a thought. And also be more funnier is, Grandpa and Grandma wore cow dung on the head. They think they can get rid of the uh, red dragon like that. They'll think you're crazier than a mad dog. Am I right, Dave? Hmm. Courtney, honestly, did they do that during the Spanish flu? Well, you know what? If we had, back then, the information highways that we have now, I guarantee the mass hysteria would have been 10 times worse than what we're watching right now. Because yeah. when the second and then the third wave of that hit, there was actually a lot of hysteria. Yeah, and it we don't we don't have the information highway back then that we have now. Yeah, if we had it, the world we'd be in mass panic. Okay, yeah. they don't publish the numbers of the Spanish flu like they have the numbers they have for this, because it would show people that it, this is serious. Mm. Okay, it's not the, a joke. It's not. It's not yeah. some kind of idiot's game that they're playing to control your will. And um, the thing while is, there like, may be idiots out there trying to do that, yeah. this shit's real. Yeah, they had idiots back then too. They had the they had the anti mask league because some people weren't were out there were convinced. Oh, this is just a big hoax back then with the Spanish flu. And guess what happened when the wave two came around. When the anti mass league was all out there in force, guess what happened? They all got hit hammered by it. So, oh, um, but yeah, there was uh, there was uh, a friend of mine on Facebook, um, Mark Phillips. He is great at pulling up old time photos, and he's been posting all these old time photos from the year one, year two, and year three of the Spanish flu, showing people wearing masks, going out on dates, wearing masks and gloves. Of course, they were leather gloves because that was a society war. And, um, but they had masks on and then they had their bonnet on or the hat on and stuff. And they were making it stylish. And then of course you had a few idiots out there saying, oh, the, the government's uh, trying to take away our rights. You know, the government's trying to save your butts. Right. And a lot of people forget that's what I saw became really big, the brown stuff in the bottle. They used to have flip guns, which is a pump-up sprayer like a bug sprayer, except they filled it up with Lysol and sprayed down people from head to toe. Also back then, back in that time, gargling, not swallowing or drinking, gargling hydrogen peroxide is in all the medical books at that time. If you got the Spanish flu, what they were worried about, the two glands right here getting infected and swelling up, and then you can't breathe and you die. So they told everybody, you see it in World War I training films, everybody with a canteen cup with this gargling like hell. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Typhoid Mary was an interesting bit of history for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um well, let, let's put it in another very succinct way. History failed to be read will be repeated. Mm -hmm. Or if you change history, someone will repeat the same mistakes of our forefathers. It's simple. It's been proven time and time and 
time again throughout history. Every time somebody changes history to suit somebody's little derriere, um, history is repeated. Yeah. I think we covered everything, and Dave and Gil covered really good. I do have to warn people. Like Dave says, if people change history, it's going to bite them on the butt. There is, and right now I'm doing a whole series called Down the Rabbit Hole. And if you want to hear something, it's not fair point. It's, I mean, you know, you pass the bodies of Alice and the white rabbit and the caterpillar. I'm going deep into the rabbit hole. Just stay out of the dark web. Yeah. I'm trying to find some of those pictures here, guys, to show you. But uh, I guess they're back too far. Either that or... Uh, Did you try Time Ghost? No, I'm on, I'm on his uh, his uh, his page here. And, you know, it's they been... They may made. have been removed due to sensitive content. Yeah, historic pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, the Jefferson Monument's going to get torn down because somebody got their tidy whities in an uproar. They're taking on George or Abraham Lincoln stuff because I don't know why. Yeah. But he's the one that I have no idea. Oh, so. you heard they tore down the statue of Frederick Douglass and Martin yeah. Luther King. Those people are African American. And they fought for freedoms. Right. But somebody got their tidy whities in an uproar. Oh, I don't like it no more. Oh, I'm going to go stomp my feet and act like a two-year-old. No, go to another country. Right. If you want to yeah. act like a two-year-old, then go find a deserted island somewhere, take out 200 of your best friends with you, and go figure out how to build civilization on your own. Exactly. You fail miserably. Come back to us and tell us how you failed, and we'll tell you, okay, this is what you fixed, and then you go back to where you were. Yeah. We'll help you fix it, but we're not going to keep you. Yeah. No, what would be more funnier? Do you like you did in the 1920s? You had all these revolutionaries and socialists. You sent them to Russia. And you know what the communists did? They sent them to Siberia, to the gulags, because they had their own problems with Trotsky. I, I just, people don't comprehend our country. I would love to see Antifa. And all its many branches of BLM and all these other leftists, far leftists, go to Russia and try what they're doing there. Yeah. Because I'll tell you what, a speeding ticket in Russia, if you mouth off to the cop, you get a billy club upside the head. Yep. And there's no, there's nobody over there to say, oh, but he hit him with a billy club because he yeah. got monkey. Uh, sorry, you shouldn't open your mouth. Yeah. Uh, don't break the law so you don't have to deal with the law. If you don't like the law, then don't do stupid things to earn you the stupid badge of the week award. Simple. All right. So my friend Mark Mark C. Phillips here, uh, in some of his posts, I think are pretty cool. The family that shelters together survives together. Yep. And he's got masks there and, you know, showing his new mask. And he has uh, showing no, all the masks would. he went out and bought. And friends you know, Putin are would order up. the military into it. Yeah. But um, I can't find any of the ones that he had from uh, the historic ones. I, th I don't think, I think he, I think he, he archives them after a while so they don't stay on his page so he can reuse them next year. But uh, yeah, he had now, a, I've actually seen where uh, Russian military, not police, because they're not equipped to do it. The military will go break up drug houses in russia yeah they don't hold back um let's see that's a drug house they're making crack cocaine or meth or whatever they pull up in an armored vehicle with a 20 millimeter howitzer on the front of it and if they don't come out they blow the front of the building off yeah. and if you've lived then you go to prison yeah yep. they don't they don't play games over there yeah, yeah. this is a this I thought was kind of, kind of kind of uh, good. This was mm -hmm. the winning sand sculpture of the Texas Sand Sculpture Festival. Out. Abraham Very Lincoln, out. going, what the hell are these people doing? <laughs> uh, but, but Dave's right. D Dave, remember in that one small that. Um, Russian country that uh, Russia went in there and they had hostages. Mm -hmm. 
Putin said, because Putin's KGB at the time, tough luck, we do not negotiate with terrorists or socialists or counter-revolutionaries, or protesters. No, they, like they said, they open fired with a 20 millimeter, dump gas in there, which killed a few kids. Anybody gave resistance, they shot them with AKs. Mm -hmm. They, it didn't matter if a little kid jumped up, brat. They, go, they, they, they took no prisoners, they asked questions later. Yeah, they shot anybody that moved, they rescued the people, a lot of those people have uh, post, uh, what you might call it? PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome. Yes, yeah. especially when or you see a 20 millimeter blow up a wall. You see all your friends die under the friendly Soviet military, special forces, spies, open fire shooting anybody that moved. And on the, I would actually like to see them go back to the original designation they gave that problem. When it was first diagnosed, shell shock. Yeah. Get it off the PTSD because you know what? I got people living next door to me who have never been, not this next door, but a couple doors down, who have never really had a traumatic event in their life. And they claim PTSD. Yeah. Oh, but I was so scared. All right. Sure no, no, yeah. It's the actual term shell shock came from people who were very very distressed during an event that causes severe mental problems not good good one kaylin good oh, one yeah. she had that up on um, her facebook as well yeah, yeah. So cute. uh don't do it like that and did and with a shell shock soldier and or the donkey don't shoot the donkey don't bitch slap the shell shock soldier yeah. that's a no-no but you got right. right. So I think we've covered everything for everybody, got information out here, let everybody know where we're actually standing as a nation as far as what what's going on with the Red Dragon or as um, uh, China and Fo Focus and uh, Taiwanese new broadcast like to call it, the CCP virus. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to answer Kaylin real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that everybody who says they have PTSD doesn't actually have it. Um, somebody who survives a violent assault that is a form of actual shell shock because you were shocked into, you know, not being able to move. Yeah. That's where the term shell shock came from because there was people in World War One and World War Two who had munitions blow up next to them and their buddy who was standing there talking to them half a second before literally no longer exists. Yeah. There's nothing left of them. That's where the original term of shell shock came from. They were shocked into a shell of themselves. So there are people who have actual issues that were that are shocked. I think they had a French film, Dave, in black and white, silent, showing people going shaking from, from what they saw in World War One. Yep. And I think it, it got banned from YouTube because it was very graphic. They had guy one guy peeing on himself, shaking because of shell shock. Uh, yep. French seventy fives going off. This was the German side of the silent movie, and they have a guy. Walking around with like that all the time and peeing on himself. That's not very good, folks. Yeah. Okay, I'll shut up now. Go ahead, Gil. All right. So I think we've covered everything we need to. Um, just as a, just as a kind of last minute reminder for those who didn't hear, yeah, we went from this for the first six months of the year, and now we're at. Uh, and now we got this going on right now. Leviathan from world of warcraft yeah yeah and oh, uh, uh and i've killed it a few times yeah i have to uh leave a very important <laughs> moment guys both gill and will knows uh, both gill and dave knows about it you see all the numbers they have up there when the second wave hit back in 1919 hard not kidding around hard first ones that are die off doctors nurses emts that's ambulance drivers, all first responder from uh, from fire departments to police, anybody who has conducted with the medical field or handled problems will drop off. And because yeah. that's how the mob got a hold in 1919 and 1920. It wasn't prohibition. You had half the police force. And, and then Crazy Uncle Joe is now the 
chief of police because he has a gun and a badge. That was horrifying for everybody else in the U.S. because they wiped out half the police force. I have to warn people about this. They keep missing it. Yeah. So um, that's an okay. entirely another subject in and of itself. Yeah. So basically, um, hope everybody got some information out. Realize what's going on. Um, if you don't have, uh, if you if you have to go out and work and do stuff, um, get get one of those uh, safety face shields. You know, they're not that expensive. Walmart has me get it. Walmart on uh, uh, dot com. Um, they'll make they'll make your mask last longer and and you know you know at least you know two three times as effective as as far as uh, what it does and also uh, keeps your eyes stuff from getting in your eyes. Do you think this wave will be as big as? There is no telling. We actually, we're not going to actually have a second wave here. We're going to have a second season because uh, it's it's not going to peter out. You know, to have actually a wave, the reason why they're called it waves and stuff, it's like a, like a tide pool wave. It would go, tides would go out and it would come back in and it would go out. All right. Well, this ain't going out. It's staying there and it just keeps on rising. The water is rising, slowly rising. And so, come November, we're gonna, it's November starts the uh, the uh, 2020 2021 uh, flu season. So we're just gonna have the when the uh, the next uh, season kicks off in November. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot worse because we're already getting so many cases per day now, and I don't see this dropping off much. Uh, it might get back down to the 40s Sweet. if everybody pulls their head out of their woohoo and tsunami. does what they're supposed to do. Think tsunami. Yeah. So it's going to be. Um, I have a feeling that it, it, you know it, this could be this could be a very bad uh, November, December, and January, or if everybody pulls their head out and does what they're supposed to do, it, we might be able to minimize the effects, but it's still going to be hard hitting because it's already spread so much now. And it's going to be out there when, when the weather starts cooling off, it's going to pick up again. Hey, Tibor, a long time, no chat. Hey, um, Tibor. Yeah. yeah. The original shell shock was a severe mental disorder. Unfortunately, they turned it into PTSD, which any quack to diagnose somebody who thinks they've got a mental issue, but really don't, it's just they don't want to deal with life, they're lazy, um, can go in and get disability for PTSD just because they lazy asses. Yeah. So now, that's not to dis disrespect those that actually no. have it. Right. That, but my point is there are people that claim to have it that really don't. They're just flipping lazy. Yeah. The people right. that actually do have PTSD yeah. have actual issues. And I respect those who deal with it in a respectful manner. And unfortunately, we have 21 soldiers a day commit suicide because they don't get the help they need. Yet people can get a doctor to say, oh, you poor baby, here you go. And not give it to the military that actually needs it. Yeah. All right, folks. So um, make sure you have your personal protective equipment. Use it. Wash your hands. Um, if you can get extra 90% um, uh, alcohol, rubbing <laughs> alcohol, get it. Get a little spray bottle. This is still, you know, the, uh, it's now 94 cents from Walmart. Fill it up. Have it by the door. You come in. You come in from outside. Spray down your clothes. You know your shoes and stuff. Uh, if you have boxes of food and stuff, spray down the boxes of food, or have the uh, Clorox wipes to wipe them down. Okay. Take and precautions. My local Target had probably close to eighteen cases of this stuff sitting on an end cap on the shelf and in the middle of an aisle. You know, it was limit one per person, but they are actually getting it back in stock here in Ohio. At least yeah. close to me. My Walmart still hasn't got it. 
And my Walmart is actually missed, is out of stock on a lot of items. So uh, For JW, it's this rating right here you want. The 91 isotope alcohol. Yeah, uh, yeah I can't pronounce it. Sorry. Isopropyl. It says wood alcohol. Do not use it. That's a toxin. It has it's to be for fighting fires. And this kind, you use Everclear, Everclear safe, but this brand of alcohol. Yeah. The, uh, and, and if you can't get alcohol, get that type of alcohol, but you can get uh, 190 proof uh, Everclear, works just as good. <coughs> so, yeah, just take care. Everyone, just take care, take care of yourselves. Be smart. You know, wear your mask, wear your gloves, wear your goggles. Um, unfortunately, like the the Harbor Freight up here in Idaho Falls donated all their gloves to the local hospital. They got a huge shipment in, and they turned around, and donated it all to the hospital. And every, there there was a line of people that were really mad, saying, "Hey, we need our gloves, and you donated them all over there." Yeah. Uh Yo, a shortcut for that: get yellow dishwashing gloves. Exactly. The 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 the, uh, the Playtex gloves are thicker, Just heavier duty. Go watch Doc Bones and Nurse Amy's video. They tell you how to take care of all that stuff. Yep, exactly. It's, it's a two part video. There's a part one and a part two. Video. Go yep. watch the um, yeah, <laughs> WD Glock and roll. Uh, ninety-nine percent uh, uh, alcohol. Uh, that's called moonshine. <laughs> that, that's some really heavy-duty stuff. But the um, yeah, just you know, you know, there are, we uh, showed Mimsy's Gardens one on how to make um, al uh, the aloe vera gel uh, hand sanitizer using uh, Everclear. Kathy also made a video not too long ago, if memory serves correctly. Yeah, and I think also didn't um, old school prepper do one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Hi, yeah, that, and and I know that um, Brett at uh, Broussard's Homestead, he's a fireman. He made him one on how to make it as well. So, so the information's out there. You don't have to take our word for it. Go do yeah, a little yeah. bit of research. Use them fingers instead of looking for stupid cat videos. <laughs> look for life saving information. Yeah. Or go ask your pharmacist who has this at his station. Yeah. All Let's right, guys. Um, I think we've been on here for uh, a little over an hour and a half now. We've covered just about everything I wanted to cover. Oh, Uncle Al just jumped out. Uh, let's see here. Pull this down. I got to pull something else up here. I'm thinking about it here real quick. Um, I'm going to reorgan. I'm going to re recategorize my next couple of uh, live streams. So <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what um, Tuesday is going to be on. Uh, but you for a PSA from me here in the next day or so yeah. on my main channel. Cool. E e and most some of you won't like it. I'll tell yeah. you that right now. But that's okay. Yeah. And so I, I uh, flashback. We're going to. Uh, I'll have. I'll have uh, uh, on Monday. I'll put out uh, a little quick video of what the next couple of uh, videos coming out are. But next Friday, I know what next Friday is going to be. Next Friday is myths that new preppers are being told, and we're uh, going to straighten out some uh, some of the truths there. Lori, it hasn't been put out yet because I haven't made it yet. I just decided tonight to make it, so I will make it probably in the next twelve hours. And uh, Tim, we actually did cover that a couple months back on a uh, gardening episode with uh, the Green Wizard. Both me and Gil have uh, a live stream with the Green Wizard on it, and we talk about our immune systems. Yeah, and uh, Howie comes on there quite a bit with it, and Howie a uh, couple things Howie po points out all the time. Is the sun chokes if you if you have diabetes it helps with that and um, beets he says uh, eat a raw beet a day not a big one just a small one no problem Lori so um, 
Yeah. So everyone, you know, really, um, be safe, this, be safe, be smart, be prepared. And, um, you know, keep, keep every, everyone in your family informed of what's going on and do the best you can. That's all you can do. All righty. So until the next time, those live streams we had, what was that? Uh, back in March, wasn't it? Um, cause you had Howie on yours as well as Ron. Yeah, I had, uh, Howie, I had Ron and then mm -hmm. I, that was right after I had, um, I think it was after I had about two weeks after I had, um, Doc, Doc Bones. Bones and Nurse Amy on. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's why how he said the small beat's not a big beat, just a small one. And, um, you know, just kind of nibble on it during the day. <laughs> yep. All righty, folks. Take care. Stay safe. God bless. And we will see you in the next live stream. Bye-bye.